Denver is making a major pivot in how it provides help for migrants coming from the border and how it funds those services with budget cuts that will now be less obvious to citizens. Our Mark Salinger dives deeper into that city budget than they probably would prefer. And our Angeline McCall's reporting on the migrant crisis has been the definitive record of what our city has seen. We begin tonight with Mark's reporting on where this money's coming from. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. We are here today to give you some important updates uh, on the city. In for the third time so far this year, Denver put out yet another new plan to cut budgets and save money. And we have a remaining uh, gap of about $89 million. Um, Mayor Mike Johnson announced the spending cuts while also allocating $90 million to migrant services this year. Denver still needs to find about half that money. As a money. result of that, we only need to propose today a package of $45 million in cuts to help meet the remaining budget need uh, for the city. The cuts are far less than the 180 million originally feared in January, yet they still impact every agency in the city. The Denver Police Department will cut nearly $8.4 million, which amounts to about 2% of its yearly budget. Chief Ron Thomas says there will be no change in the number of officers deployed to the street, no changes in recruiting, and no changes in public-facing services. Uh, we were able to, to make sure that we provide all of our core services without having any impact on the budget at all. For months now, rec centers across the city have been operating with limited hours. Denver is now changing course on that, rescinding all cuts to the agency. All rec centers will be fully open before the summer. The city will not fill 160 vacant jobs. That's expected to save nearly $20 million. There will be no layoffs or furloughs, yet some of the most public budget cuts that were announced earlier this year like cannot be brought question. back. What about the flowers? Are those coming back? <laughs> People uh, care. <laughs> some of the flowers we missed the window to plant, and so those won't be replanted. Some they'll continue planting. While all the parks may not have flowers this summer, the rest of the city all will be spared from many of the budget cuts uh, that were originally uh, feared. Building this into a model that Denver is proud of and we think the rest of the country can learn from. So thank you so much for having us. Have a great day. The office with the highest percentage of money cut from its budget was actually the mayor's office taking a nearly 10% cut, Kyle, to pay for these migrant services. So obviously it's a fiscally responsible thing to plan for a worst case scenario, but how did they cut the proposed migrant services budget in half in four months? The answer is fewer migrants are coming to the city, but the city is also cutting the services that they're offering.